वेलकम टू अखंड विद्याश्रम द फर्स्ट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इम्पिकेबल विस्टम द वॉकिंग टॉकिंग एंड साइक्लोपीडिया प्लेटलेट सेल्स द साइंस ऑफ ब्लीडिंग स्टॉपेज माई मिशन द इम्पिकेबल विस्टम नई विच एवरी थिंग इज फुली नोन माई ग्रेटेस्ट डिस्कवरी दिव्यंक द डिवाइन डिजाइन ऑफ नेचर विच विच परफेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट आर डिजाइन एंड क्रिएट Divyank is the reward of 60 years of integrated education. Impeccable wisdom is enlightening, and integrated knowledge is empowering. Now, to understand how coagulation takes place, how the clot is formed, how it is dissolved, how it settles down, and how we get healed completely, to understand that, we need to understand first what is the composition of blood. in beginning of this particular series of blood i have already spoken when you centrifuge blood you have 45% solid matter which consists of rbc wbc platelet counts and of course you have the serum which is a plasma which contains rest of the proteins and other things ingredient for perfect homeostasis and perfect health by and large having understood this now let's move on to the very stage now come to the question of how platelet cells are formed if first theory is in this particular on blood was on erythropoiesis the formation of red blood cells and within that particular picture i made it very clear the ideal example of divyank in the human body is the formation of red blood cells but in that process i have also spoken the pluripotent myeloid stem cells are 21 micron size and they increase to 22 size in the first stage of creation then we go to the 10 stages of development to form a mature rbc with one third the size of the 21 if the volume of primitive stem cell or myeloid stem cell is 900 cubic micron is the volume mature is 90 tenth so all that how many uh, 21 days it takes how much it last how nucleus is replaced by uh, no nucleus and other uh, microorganisms also have been explained very well the keeping that particular picture in mind let me also explain the platelet cells also more or less take the same size we have something called thromboprotein <coughs> which is produced by the kidneys and liver they are carried to the myeloid stem cells which is primitive pluripotent totipotent cells from everything is developed and then from there the development goes to another stage to come to mega karyoblast stage as you can see in the second one in the line then mega karyo blast to site and then cells you have the precursors from which they come out and come as a platelets i am sure there are exactly 10 stages of development in this also which may or may not have been discussed anyway there is no need for it what is more important is there is no nucleus in this particular set of cells rbc and platelets have no nucleus mega karyocyte and mega blast uh, those things have a nucleus but all the wbcs have a nucleus so those three cells are understood clearly from that angle platelets are the ones which are responsible for coagulation stop the bleeding whenever this is broken and how they get healed is something which we are going to talk about in this particular video although it is said 1.5 million to 4 million is the size of platelets in a normal stage i agree with that since i am talking of single stage conveniently i put 2.4 million cubic millimeters of undiluted blood as a platelet cells let me stick to that as and it and leave it at that now the comes the question of hemostatic process the stoppage of bleeding is hemostatic whenever blood vessel is broken there is a break 
and blood starts coming out. As you can see right in the beginning, you have seen the injury. Then RBCs are trying to come out along with rest of the things will start coming and you start bleeding. If the bleeding is not stopped, you could have a problem. At this particular juncture, let me tell you, there are 5 liters of blood which is there in a per adult human body. Up to 1 liters is lost. There is no problem whatsoever. But if it's going to be more than 1 liter, which can be taken care by the negative feedback mechanism, by bringing blood from legs into the circulation, our spleen into circulation are breaking down all those unwanted areas where the blood is not absolutely essential for survival and take it to the areas which is absolutely essential like your brain and heart and make sure that you survive. But if it becomes more than 2 liters, then survival becomes all the more difficult. That's the time when positive feedback comes to mechanics and center from periphery comes to at heart and heart starts working more and more and then you could have a problem whatsoever. To avoid that particular problem, we need to stop bleeding immediately at the earliest so that we do not have any problem whatsoever. Having understood the process why bleeding has to be stopped so that we can lead a perfectly health because when if we bleed to the death, because see the survival is in blood and that's it. The first thing which comes to the mind is vasoconstriction, which is through sympathetic system and all that come to close as you can see is one part as a result bleeding can stop. Second process which comes to play very important role is mobilization of platelet cells to the site of this injury and then try to block it with that. If hemostasis with our sympathetic pervy is able to do it closely, very nicely, not big a problem. Second would be ovulation. Now having brought the platelet counts to the site and converted a clot and closed it is one and then slowly over a clot is formed into a fibrin and then healing takes place completely and the person would have no problem whatsoever thereafter. So, three, four processes. First, the injury, breakage in that, and then blood starts coming out. Then, vasoconstriction, sympathetic system will see to it that it is closed and bleeding stops. If it doesn't stop, that's where the primary hemostasis comes to play a role. When platelets are brought, they close, clot is formed, and after clot is formed, it gets healed with the fibrin from and then healing takes place and you are perfectly normal for the rest of your life. There is no issue on that part. If this is understood as the first defense mechanism, then I think we are in the right time to go to the next stage how bleeding actually stops. First, coagulation factors which are part of the blood and WBC count and everything put together. There are 13 factors which are important. Factor 1 is a fibrinogen. Factor 2 is prothrombin. Thrombin is thromboplastin or factor 3, which is very, very important for the external injury. Then fourth is the calcium. Fifth is proacelerin. Next is accelerin. Proconvertin. Antihemophilic is 8th. Christmas factor is 9th. Stuart power is 10th. Plasmothromboplastin antidecent PTA is 11th. Hegman factor and pro. These are the 13 factors which play a very important role in coagulation factor. And what is their role, how they go about it is something we should try to understand to understand hemostasis very, very clearly. There are two things what is intrinsic factor, another is the intrinsic factor. So first let's try to understand what is extrinsic factor means that the injury is outside. Peripheral injury takes place, tissue is damaged, blood starts forming as you've seen in the picture there. When as this starts, that's the time first stage is a natural defense of sympathetic system coming to produce vasoconstriction, mobilizing 
and then mobilization of uh, platelet counts, closing it up as a clot, and then going to fibrin is one part. At the same time, the next thing which comes to play a very important role is thromboplastin factor 3, which is a tissue factor which comes to play a role at that particular juncture which I have written. Now, tissue injury, tissue factor, then thromboplastin third factor, which goes and works an inactive seven part and convert into active seven part. And then along with this, they come to another stage where inactive 10 is converted to activated 10 with the help of 7 a at one side. And of course, the calcium, the fourth factor also comes to play a role. So you have third, you have four, you have seven, you have 10 to activate it. Then on 10 activated, goes to prothrombin factor. In the process, 5 also gets added. Calcium is also added to that. So that process is another thing which plays an important role in starting the process on extrinsic factor when injury is outside. And then thrombo, prothrombin platelet also goes to that circle, also takes place. Calcium plays very, very important, which is the fourth part. So without the calcium, Hemolysis would be extremely difficult. So, from this particular picture, let me put it very clearly. The impeccable wisdom which is there in this particular thing is right at the bottom. You have a bleeding, you have the damage, there is a bleeding, then factor 3 comes to play a role, and then along with the fourth, you come to 7 part, then 7 part next becomes 10, divided by 2 is 5. Then four come to play role. So the factors which play a very important role are the one, two, three, four, five, six does not play, seven, ten. If these factors are important and then external coagulation would be very, very effective and there will not be any problem whatsoever. So remembering three plus seven is ten divided by two is five is something which you got to remember Rest are things where you remember or not, but these factors have to be remembered very clearly as far as extrinsic factors are concerned. Then you have intrinsic factors when the blood damage takes place inside the body. The outside it is a 3, thromboplastin. But inside the body it will be collagen which comes to play. Blood plasma are contact with the collagen with this one thing which helps mobilize factor 12 inactive into active that's the first process then next stage gets converted into 11 inactive to activated 11 that along with the calcium works on 9 gets converted to activated then thromboplastin along with 8 comes to work on 10 and activated to also 10 along with the calcium gets converted inactive into active 10A. On the other side from tissue, contact, platelet, formal lipids also come to play a role on this particular part and then bring thromboplastin to that. Thromboplastin on one side, active 10 on one side, calcium on the other side, then 5 also added to that and that is what is called thrombin activator or phospholipids and prothrombin is converted into thrombin along with the calcium and that is what leads to healing inside the body. If this system is absolutely clear within the body and I can assure you will have no problem whatsoever. What is the ca carry home message in this particular extrinsic is 3 plus 7, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Here 12, 11, 9, 8, 10, 5, and 3. So, more or less, at the last stage is 10 and 5 become consistent in both. Extrinsic also take bring you down to 5, 10, and this also brings it 10. Then, the healing takes place simultaneously, one by one, without any problem. So, I am sure very clearly, extrinsic factor would be 3, 7, 10, divided by 2, 5, 12, for intensity factor 12, 11, 9, 8, 
10, 10 and 5. So I don't think there should be any doubt with respect because there's no overlapping. But everything is systematically done very well. And I'm happy about the, I'm able to put across the whole beauty in a very consolidated form. At this picture, now let's take the complete picture into the mind. You have a contact inside collagen formation, 10, 12 to 12A, to 11 to 11A, 9 to 9A, 10 to 10A. This is intrinsic factor. Tissue factor 3 and 7, 7A and then 10, 10A. These are the two common factors which come to play what 10A. On 10A, 5 to 5 active comes, then prothrombin is converted to thrombin, fibrinogen into fibrin, then 13 comes to play and whole thing is converted to fibrin clot. And that is what we started in the beginning. If we can bring it into fibrin clot and heal it completely, you are healed once for all, rest of your life. You don't have to worry at all. So from that point of view, remembering all the 13 factors, keeping platelets in mind and mobilization of that and the role of sympathetic system to constrict, mobilize uh, from system to bring to intrinsic factor back to blood and making blood perfect and circulate is absolutely essential for everybody to understand. If we can do that, wonderful. Otherwise, these things will take care and things will be done quite effectively one by one without any problem. So, carry home message of hemostasis is how to stop the bleeding. And bleeding is seat of survival. And unless until bleeding is perfectly normal, normal blood level is 5 liters. If you can maintain 5 liters rest of your life, you will have no problem whatsoever provided your diet is perfect. You are perfectly vegetarian. You do not take anything which is unnatural. And you are doing things systematically. What is recommended, I can assure you, you will have no problem whatsoever. I am not pointing fingers at the people who are doing other things. My objective is only to explain things as I have experienced in my life, out of my thing, and I am sharing only from that point of view. One angle, which is to the impeccable wisdom, with the wing, the wing ratio, the wing sequence, the wing infinity, and what I have found to be perfectly normal, to be perfectly healthy, wealthy, wise and happy, completely leading a life. From that angle, I do believe this plays very, very important role. Now, having brought that particular thing into the mind, let me tell you this, how this Ida and Pingla, two nadis, play a very important role in mobilizing vasoconstriction. And that's the first role it plays to make sure the bleeding stops locally and there is no problem at all. If that fails miserably, Ida and Pingla, then the question of coming up platelet comes to the site, closing with the platelets and forming a clot then slowly clot getting converted into thromboplastin, plastin, fibrin and healing takes place and you should have no problem within a space a couple of days and that would be the perfect objective of hemostasis one and large. First part, sympathetic system, Ida and Pingla play an important role. Platelet counts is an important part. Clot formation is an important part. Dissolution is an important part. Forming into fibrin is another part and then healing taking place is another part. So as a result, you should have no problem with physical health, emotional health, mental health, spiritual health or otherwise. And all this should be done one by one perfectly to make sure come what may. Blood which is seed for survival is 5 liters and is maintained. And everything is done accordingly to make sure that everything is done perfectly. That is where in CPR I have said, if you can mobilize blood from periphery, legs, to the heart, it can start immediately. Many of those things you'll have to do and rehabilitate blood volume at the earliest in such a way that person have no problem whatsoever for the rest of the life to mobilize things in any form. I think that is more important than anything else in the process. So having understood 
कि एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू गॉट टू मेक श्योर यू स्टॉप ब्लीडिंग इमीजिएटली मोबिलाइज एन ऑफ आर बी सी हैव एवरी थिंग परफेक्ट यू हैव नो प्रॉब्लम वट्स एवर एंड दैट शुड बी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ हिमोस्टेसिस टू मोबिलाइज एंड डन विद इट एंड आई एम श्योर इन द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम वट हैपन्स विदाउट एनी इंजरी बट वेन इंजरी इज एन एक्सटर्नल साइट फैक्टर थ्री कम्स टू प्ले रोल हाउ बेसो कंस्ट्रिक्शन कम्स टू प्ले रोल ब्लीडिंग स्टॉप्स दैन प्लेटलेट कम्स क्लॉट इज फॉर्म्ड डेजोल्यूशन टेक्स प्लेस दैन फाइब्रीन इज फॉर्म्ड एंड हीलिंग टेक्स प्लेस एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर विद द फैक्टर्स ऑफ थ्री प्लस सेवन टेन एंड फाइव बाई एंड लार्ज फॉर द इंटरनल वैन इंजरी इज इन साइट इट इज अ कोलेजन नॉट एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू स्टार्ट एंड फ्रॉम दैट ट्वेल्व अलेवन नाइन एट Six doesn't come to much of a role. Then ten, five come. The entire picture becomes come. Then how prothrombin to thrombin to fibrin to fibrin. All that takes place is that picture is very clear. Then they will have no problem. And mobilize blood at the earliest. Drink enough water because hydrolysis is important. And things can be maintained very well. But healing should be stopped immediately. Done maximum to the risk. not to waste time come whatsoever may be maintaining blood pressure within normal maintaining everything within normal should be the objective of everybody who wants to lead a perfectly healthy wealthy wise and happy long life without any problem without any constraints or restraints for moksha liberation salvation otherwise our enlightenment blood has to be taken care of bleeding has to stop and you got to become perfectly normal at the earliest and that is objective of this particular slide having said that i would say it has been lovely speaking about my share from my own experience along with the design which is to be known fully and i think i've done my bit and anyway, we we continue to see as many things as we proceed so thank you very much